What are you doing? Can you still see? Can I see what? Like the mirror's fine. Did you hit it again? I tapped it. But then I tapped it back. I don't want to tap you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fine. Sit down and see if. You, did you hit record? Yeah. So everybody's watching? Yeah. Can you sit up straight? This is this is me. This is straight. I think we're both in here. What's going on, dickweeds? That's better. Hey, <laughs> fucking right. Did I ever tell you why I still yell that? What's going on, Dick Reed? Dick Dick Reeds. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Reeds. No. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Today was extra loud. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you, cocksuckers. Let me put that in the middle here. I'll tell you, cocksuckers, why I still yell it. Uh, in the old days, I used to do the whole standing up, the whole intro thing, but we kind of dummied it down a little bit because some people, it was a little too uh, aggressive for them. <laughs> so we dummied it down a little bit. and uh, But I still yell the what's going on dickweeds part because, like, I don't know how many how many years have you been doing this channel now? Five years? I think so. About five years, and I always, well not always, but every so often I get a fucking comment from someone that says, You're a dick! When you yelled that at the beginning, I fucking dropped this out of my hand, or you woke up this person in my house, or, you know, I had my earphones on, you almost blew my fucking eardrums, and I just feel that I need to still do it, because I still picture some of you cocksuckers taking your earphones off or tossing something in the air, right? <laughs> From all the stories I've heard over the years, so I can't really take that part away. <laughs> anyway. Bloop. Today's Thursday. And today we had some cupboard dicks come here. They're going to be switching out the countertop the bottom cupboards mm -hmm. the top cupboards they're not gonna take those out they're gonna just take the front face off and put a new face on the front or like maybe on the same I'm not understanding but it, I don't understand you they said those cup there's nothing wrong with those cupboards remember the guy looked on the inside yeah there's nothing wrong with them they're just old Anyway, they're going to do a bunch yeah. of shit in a few weeks or a few months. We don't even know when they're coming. No. They came here to do some measurements, and that's really it. So that's done with. We're just Now we just got to wait for, a, a, what do you call it, an appointment. They'll call us sometime throughout the summer yeah. with a fucking appointment to come in here to make this shitty job probably just as shitty as it already is, <laughs> if not worse. Anyway, enough about that. Today, we live across the street from a nut house. Halfway house. I don't know what the fuck you call it. There's all nutty people that live there. <laughs> a bunch of fucking nitwits. Anyway, I seen an ambulance pull up today. They went into the fucking place. They came out. And they opened up the back door of the ambulance. They pulled out the fucking... The bed, the gurney, the stretcher, whatever you call the fucking thing. A female came out of the fucking nut house. Instead of just getting into the back of the fucking ambulance like a regular person laying on the fucking bed, they had to get the fucking thing out of the fucking ambulance, put it on the ground for her, let her lay on it, because, like, 
I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know what was going on over there, but it didn't seem serious because she walked into the house on her own. Like they didn't even like <coughs> walk beside her or nothing. Oh, she's by herself. Walked to the end. Yeah, they walked down to the to the ambulance, ambulance and just got the bed and stuff ready, and they just kind of kind of stood there and looked at her, waiting for her to come down the driveway. So she comes walking down this driveway real slow, like she's got to take the shit of her life, and. She lays down on the fucking bed, and they take out a little blanket about that long, and they cover up her fucking legs for her, and then they do the whole thing where they turn her around and put her into the, they do the whole yeah, thing either get the bed back into the fucking ambulance, you know, and then they sat there for a while, and then they decided, okay, well, I guess maybe we should take off. <laughs> it wasn't important at all. Anyway, just, it, to me, it was like, I don't know. Okay. Fucked. <laughs> like an ambulance comes all the way down here for that just to entertain someone. Like that's all they're really doing was entertaining the nitwit. There was nothing wrong with her. I mean, anytime there's something wrong with somebody, the one of those ambulance fucking dummies will walk you down the driveway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they stand beside you, or they put yeah. you in the fucking bed inside of your house yeah. and wheel you the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. No. She came out on her own. They were just waiting for her, like, you know, looking at their watches, like, come on, I got shit to do, you know? <laughs> there may be an emergency. Yeah, anyway, that's what I watched today. Just having a few beers over in the window and, yeah. <laughs> uh, Donna got her nails done. Yeah. The red. The red. Hopefully can you guys see? can see them. She got her fingers and her toes done. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's colored. Yeah. <laughs> now she's got colored nails. Well, she's not colored. She's got colored nails. Uh, <laughs> tell them about the weather, Donna. It's Sorry that the video is a little boring. It's Thursday. The rain still hasn't fucking. St well, it stops every once in a while. But, but then it, it starts again. Yeah, it's wet and damp and. Chilly. A little bit muggy, but it's chilly also. Yeah. The weather doesn't know what to fucking do. But the sure as shit ain't no sun around. Not at all. Like, it's, it's fucking crap. It's, it's been, shit. It's been, like, uh, how many days is this? It's been all week. You told me on Saturday or Sunday this was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, it's 12. She let me know at the last minute. I, I didn't even expect this shit because I don't check the weather, well, right? Uh, anyways... Uh, it's 12 right now. Yeah, it's not that warm. It's just, tomorrow will be better. better, better. It'll be better. 22. 22, then 23, then 25, then 27. Just keeps going up. It just keeps going up. <laughs> I should probably mention me and Don are drinking the Molson Canadian. What beer's all about. And... We thought yesterday that uh, we were on the last of the, what is it called? MKUltra. MKUltra. Uh, we were wrong. There's still a teeny little bit left. It's, it fluffed up so well that it just, we still got a teeny bit. I got to open up another pouch or something later. I don't, I don't know what I got, though. I got some other stuff. Like, Well, I got some new stuff I just got, but I still got some other stuff that I got from before that. <laughs> anyway, we'll tell you tomorrow. I placed another order today because uh, not counting today, I got two more days of drinking because I turned 46 on Sunday, on Father's Day. That's my birthday, June 18th. And I promised myself that when I turn 46 years old, I'll never touch alcohol again. I think I told you guys that about five years ago, but in between here and there, I've... Quit and started, quit and started, fucked around like, <laughs> made some jokes here and there, but this time it's serious. Uh, I only got two more days left of drinking, not counting today. So I placed an order today of some, because I, I need to get myself some good shit, right? Because like, you know, I just need to. So I got, I got another order coming. Uh, I don't remember what I ordered, but I got a mix of like everything, you know, like almost anything you could think of. That, that 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 has to do with weeds <laughs> from fucking weeds to hash to fucking shattered butter to fucking pre-roll pre-rolls to fucking 
live resin to fucking I don't even know what else I got. I just got a whole bunch of different things because, you know, <laughs> good times. <laughs> Summer hasn't even started yet. Oh, well, starting next week was on the twenty first. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I gotta, I gotta have some good stuff ready for the heat, right? That's how you beat the heat. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Okay, let's stop talking about that. Let's move on. <gasps> Today, Donna was shopping around. I was getting sales, good sales. Good sales. And she got questioned about her money, money by an East Indian who did not recognize a what? <laughs> an older $20 bill. An older $20 bill. Tell them the story, uh, Okay, so I, this happened at the Food Basics. I was in Cash One, uh, like that, what do you call it, lane, aisle, cashier, what is it? Cash. I was at Cash One. And uh, anyways, I the stuff came to $27 and something cents. So I pulled out a 20, and it wasn't a newer 20. It wasn't like a really old 20, but you know like how this like plastic paper. It was thing? before the plastic? Yeah, like it was paper. It was paper, not plastic. <laughs> Bye. And I gave it to her, and I and I was in the middle of pulling out a ten, right? And she's looking at the fucking money, like like I'm fucking like I fucking printed it out, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> she says, "What is this?" That's what she says, and I said, "It's twenty dollars." And she's looking at it like like I'm like you know. Like, you know, somebody's trying to embarrass me or something, you know, like, like, because, because she was making it seem like I thought, I swear to God, Ed, right? So there's like an old guy behind me and he fucking tell her, tells her that money's good. He said it, it's, it's the older 20. And she looks up at him, right? And she looks down at the, at the fucking 20 and she looks back up at me, right? So then she fucking turns around and calls the, the other East Indian. Okay. Yeah, another expert on Canadian money. She was like, cash too. So she she calls her name and that cashier stops the order and turns around and goes to her. And the one cashier that what, that was questioning the $20, like, shows her. And then the the other East Indian says, you know, shakes her head. And she, she says, I hear her say, that's fine. Anyways, she comes fucking back and I give her the $10, right? And she's acted like... She's still looking at me, though, like I printed up this fucking money. The thing is, right, you made a fucking scene over nothing. When another fucking customer is telling a cashier that the money is motherfucking good and you're still questioning it, then maybe you should be like, take, you know, Canadian Currency 101, you know, and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Canadian Currency 101. <laughs> they offer that course somewhere. <laughs> Some back alley somewhere. <laughs> like, ask the bank for, like, a You can learn that on the streets. <laughs> like, go into the bank and ask for, like, a paper $5 bill. If they have it, they will let you touch it. Take it out. Put it in your wallet. Walk with it. You don't get the feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I got to go back for a second. Okay. Donna got her nails and toes done. Yeah. Uh, you guys might know the sheriff from the comment section down below. She's the one who did Donna's stuff. Yeah. Cigarette holder to you, Sheriff. Fucking wrong with you? <laughs> Donna's hands fucked. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, are we done with that story? Yeah. Okay, um... <laughs> Donna dropped off some evidence today. At the lawyers. <laughs> yeah. She had dropped off some evidence there. Some of it got sent by email because that works, but some things are too big for email. You just can't email things. You got to like go there and drop things off, you know? Yeah, because it's like real, like it's... It's like real hardcore evidence. <laughs> it's it stuff be that has like, to be handled. It could be like Exhibit A. It was Exhibit A. Well, see... <laughs> Anyway, Donna, Drop that off. dropped some evidence off with the lawyers today. Yeah. We don't want to talk about it today. No. Uh, 
you guys may hear a boot down the road if <coughs> if it becomes something. <laughs> we got some car dicks coming here tomorrow. Bright and fucking early. Bright and early. They're coming to clean the car. Yeah, we're getting the car cleaned tomorrow. Some places you gotta bring your car into the fucking uh like shop. Into the shop so they can do all the stuff, but there's this company that has a vehicle that ha carries everything in it. They do everything. Yeah, they just come to your driveway and fucking they clean the motherfucker right there, right? So we're getting that done tomorrow, bright and early. Is that what you said, bright and early? Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be bright yet. Uh, they're coming early to do this, and then we're, the rain's supposed to stop. It's supposed to be twenty-two tomorrow. Yeah, with no rain. And I asked them, how long does it take to dry? Like, what is the dry time? And they said, the weather will be nice tomorrow, right? Like, or when they come, right? And it'll take a few hours. But then we decided we're just going to let the, the car dry right through the motherfucking day. Nobody we're just not going to use the car tomorrow. No, we're, we're going to be here all day. Yeah, we're stuck at home tomorrow. So Donna went and got two twenty-eight packs of beer. <laughs> uh, we got steaks. We got stuff peppers that Donna's gonna stuff. We're gonna stuff peppers. Uh, what else did you buy? Corn on the cob. Corn on the motherfucking cob. Uh, some red potatoes. Red potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what else did you get? Drumsticks. Oh, we got some drumsticks. You know the ice cream. Great big eighteen pack was on sale today because Donna's a club member. <laughs> <laughs> She's a club member at your independent grocer. We're in Timmins, Ontario, way up in Canada, for those of you that didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, Donna's a club member at these places. So she got an 18 pack of drumsticks for 14 bucks. 14, well, four, 15 bucks. 14 Whatever. She got a deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all I have except for. Donna was at the Food Basics today. Did we mention that part already? That's where the that's where the fucking incident with the twenty dollars was. Okay, well I said I was there, but that's where I was at the Food Basics. She was at the Food Basics, and while she was there, paying for her groceries well, in the aisle, the check out next to her. Is that what it was? Well, this is. I came around. <coughs> <coughs> okay, uh, <coughs> there wasn't many items I had to get, but the two items that were at the back of the store I had to get eggs and then I went and got yogurt so then I come up the aisle and I'm just kind of like quickly looking to see if there's anything on sale that we just didn't notice so I'm fine walking I'm looking and from a and I didn't have my glasses on either but from a distance I'm thinking it's a fucking cow it was a <laughs> cow so cow you guys well you guys don't know her but cows are next door neighbor with the pit bull that is fucked. She's mental or something. She's got something wrong with her. I'm walking down the aisle and I'm like just kind of looking. And at the same time, I'm thinking like I'm pretty sure that was fucking cow. So, <laughs> so I come back around, right? And then I call Ed because I'm going. She was in cash two's line, but it was busy. <coughs> so the cash was were like the line was a little bit sticking out. So say like here's cash two here. Well, the line she was about here, right? And and as I was walking up the aisle, here, I think she was in a little more than just there, but okay. And and I'm, uh, as I'm walking, I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, that's fucking cow. I need to call Ed. Let Ed know because <laughs> what if something happens? She did. She calls. She calls me and says, "Cow's here." <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I gotta go and pay for my stuff. <laughs> what? What'd you call me? And tell me that for. <laughs> Fuck. Well, this is the thing. I, <laughs> <laughs> I hung up the phone. I'm like, Fuck! No, no, I said. Hey, you could have told me that fucking story when you got home. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so. <laughs> so she didn't even text it or nothing. She had to call me. Cow's here. But, Donna, I'm in the middle of doing shit. You made me answer the fucking phone for that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Okay, so so she's here and like and I'm walking up the aisle here cuz I'm going to go to the cash one over here cuz it's like uh you know, it's like less groceries, I guess. Like it's cash one, one, yeah, you 1 to 16 items. So <laughs> I went there. No, it says 1 to 16. I think so. I think so. It used to say that. And they do have the U scans, but there it was really busy. Everybody was Yeah, U scan. 
At uh, Food Basics? Yeah, yeah, I told you that last time I went. There's like... Um, well, I, I haven't been there for a while. Yeah, I, I it's... Didn't even uh, know. There's a, yeah. Actually, I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go out on Sunday or something. Yeah, 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 Sunday. We're going to we're gonna go out on Sunday and check it out. I'm going to take you out for your birthday. Yeah, she's going to take me out for my birthday. We're going to go over to Food Basics and check out the fucking... Uh, the uh, fucking uh, self checkout. <laughs> no, no. Sounds exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> okay. We're in Timmins, Ontario, way up in Canada. I There's can't... fuck all here. That is exciting, really. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I'll take her up on that. <laughs> what else is there to do here? There's nothing. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to check out <laughs> self checkout on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucked, eh? <laughs> That's how boring it is here in Timmins. Okay, so listen. Okay, so I go to Cash One, and I I know that cow, right? Like I, I had to walk by her. I had to. Say I can't miss her. <laughs> and uh, so there is there was an old man in front of me with more than sixteen items. It was okay, like he was trying to get away. Yeah. With that. He, anyways, he did right, and so at the same time as the old man's order was starting to go through, I was able to put my stuff, and at the same time, beside over there, the the same thing was happening to her. So she ta- starts. So talking. you were going through the same time as Cal. Yeah, and I and I hear her say where she works and stuff, right? To, and and the lady behind her, right, is is like okay. Honestly, she had that face, like bitch, hurry the fuck up, because <laughs> she like crossed her arms and just put them like rest them on the you know the place where the you put your hands to push the cart, the yeah. cart handle. Yeah. She started rolling her fucking eyes. Like every time she opened her mouth, she was just like thinking like fuck. The old lady's rolling her eyes. The girl behind oh, her. Oh, was an old lady. No, no. What did I hear? I thought she said old lady. No, no, not an old lady. There was cow and then this lady. Oh, a lady. Yeah. I thought probably it was old lady. Probably in the same age group, roughly. Like, okay. you know. <laughs> and, and she didn't want to hear the story, so no, she like, was rolling so, her eyes? Yeah. So anyways, I put my stuff up, right? Yeah. And, uh, and it, like, it just worked out that when the cash started going, our stuff was being <clears> scanned because <throat> I was standing there and I was looking right at <laughs> from the cash one, right? <laughs> I just stand there and, like, I was looking like what she was buying, okay? But in before that, like, one of the conversations she was saying, she's like, oh, I have to learn how to uh, buy for two or cook for two, something. So it's just... As a cow said? Yeah, I heard her from over in Cash For two, room. there's three of them. Well, the boy must not live there. She has a fucking house for three people that Jim and Sosa gave her. That house is cursed. <laughs> So one of their one of her kids don't live with her. Then? Yeah, but she she had her daughter with her. So I'm guessing it's like maybe her son moved out. I don't fucking know. She doesn't even her use. Son it. moved out. None of them even really moved in yet. Well, I, I don't. Fucking Nobody's know. even actually really lived there. I mean, she moved stuff in back in December, but she's only like fucking stopped by to fucking visit the place on occasion for like what a couple hours. I think I think once or twice she might have spent the night there. That's it. Yeah. It's been fucking six months. The place is empty. Well, I mean, it's not empty. Like, there's probably furniture in there, I imagine. But there's there's not anybody that lives there. Like, you should see the fucking lawn in the backyard. It's like cock high. No, there's nobody cuts the lawn because there's nobody there. I, I would say at the back corner, And right? if you have kids, which she does, they would be using the yard, right? Well, <laughs> anyway. Not my business. Anyways, I actually, uh, I actually asked uh, Tim and Hosing last week if the lawn next door was going to get cut because the fucking there's the mosquitoes are really bad, okay. Then you got the bees when the sun comes out. The bees are all over the fucking dandelions and stuff. Like they're everywhere. Not that the bees are uh, stinging anybody, but when you're sitting outside and you got a bee like right. And the fucker's like the size, like bigger than your eyeball. Like it kind of gets a little freaky when it's in your face, you know. You don't want to get stung. <laughs> and that that's all that happened back there. <coughs> Plus, uh, when Tim and Susan had the tree cut down the backyard, there's mice living in it. And they're living in the long grass next door and holes in the ground. And in the neighbor's tree on the other side and stuff. So... 
They all run around in the long grass. Like, could you imagine if you bought fucking mouse traps enough to just go along the whole entire fence, what you would fucking wake up to in the morning? Probably every fucking mouse trap would have a yeah. mouse in it. Yeah, you can always see a, a mouse, well, not always, but a lot of times you see a mouse come out of that yard. It'll come into our yard, it'll turn around and go back, because... Well, he realized it, it ran out of long grass, and it's in the open now. <laughs> but that place is covered. And, you know. Anyway, so I sent the letter last week, uh, email to the lady that is in charge of the property, the yards here. And she said she would, it's not, I forget what the fuck she said. Anyway, nothing got done. So I sent another letter today, actually, like, is that going to get cut? Because, like, this week, I don't know if this weekend for sure, this weekend or next weekend, our grandchildren are coming to visit. Yeah. And we're going to be using the fucking yard. We're going to have a barbecue and fucking they're going to be playing back there and stuff, right? Well, we don't really want mice running around and having bees and mosquitoes fucking sucks. Like, the mosquitoes are in the shade, like, under the tree. They'll keep going there They're no so, matter what. Yeah. And until the grass is cut, that, that that's where they live, right? So, anyway... She said, the lady from Tim and Susan said that because the weather's been fucked up, that's why it hasn't been cut, but they got, their their people are coming here probably tomorrow, as long as the weather's decent to chop it down. But that's the thing, by the, when you, by last week, is a, it's been an exact week since you had, uh... Well, come tomorrow, it's an exact, I, I emailed last Friday because the was weekend... Was it last Friday? I think so, because oh. the weekend was coming and, and I was like, wondering, like... Yeah, but everybody else... Every time else, I go out the door, there's mosquitoes and shit, and I, I, I'm just getting fucking tired of it. But, like, everybody else around here, right? Yeah, everybody Between else Between Friday and, and Sunday before it started raining, I think it was Sunday it started, right? Yeah. Everybody else around here got their lawns cut, so I don't know what the fucking, like, what the excuse is. Oh, I know. You don't fucking live there. Anyway. Well, that's what it is. She doesn't live there. That's why nobody's doing anything. Um, anyways, back to my story. Okay, so. What I'm, is your story? I was at Food Basics, and Cal was across from me, and I was oh, standing yeah. there looking at I'll show it. you guys the weather when the video's over, and while we're at it, I'll show you the fucking lawn we're talking about. And she was so fucking mad. Like, she was like... If she she was, was angry because she saw you? Yeah. Like, she was like, like, <laughs> I'm telling you, she yeah, was she's, probably Yeah, she's got a real problem with us. Her, like, I said to Ed, <laughs> I'm not even joking, I thought her fucking big fat cheek was going to just start vibrating. Like, she, you could tell, she was mad. She was so fucking mad. I guess maybe she was more mad because I was standing there staring at her. Like, I was just standing there like... Like, I was just standing there, like, looking like this. Well, you can't help but to look at her. I mean, fuck. And and I was thinking, like, if you were having a good day, you are fucking not anymore. Like, she was fucking mad. Anyways, our orders go through. I'm bagging up my stuff properly. How do you not look at this person? She caused so much trouble here. It's like, what the fuck? I did not. All of a sudden, she took her time fucking bagging her shit, right? And, uh, anyway, I just fucking bagged my shit out to the car. I fucking went... I didn't even see her when by the time, like, I got to the car, put that fucking bag in, inside the back seat, right? Got into the car and drove She's off. She's probably still telling her story to the cashier. <laughs> she wasn't talking to her no more. She was, like, probably seeing red. Like, I'm telling you, she, uh, you know, when the bull comes out charging, I'm telling you, she had that angry look. Okay, well, <laughs> um... I'm going to get in my road tope. Donald's going to get in some final words, and I'll take you guys outside to show you the weather. It's not raining, right? I don't think so. Okay, well, I'll at least take you to the door. If it's not raining, I'll take you outside. If it's raining, we'll go to the door, and I'll show you the weather in that long grass next door. Uh, no, it just says 12 overcast. 12 overcast. 6, 7, and 8. There's a little bit of sun that's coming through, but I doubt it. It's probably like sun... But there's like lots of... I'm going to get in my road toke and Donna's going to get in some final words. <laughs> there's clouds and clouds, you know, like probably transparent clouds. Like, well, not really, but anyways. Stay happy, stay safe, be kind. <laughs> Enjoy your Thursday night and <laughs> have a good night. What a stun twat. <laughs> no, no, like light, like a light shade of white. But so many of them bunch up together in front of the sun so that's blocking the sun I mean maybe there's clouds that are really just thick and white I don't know are you done with the fucking clouds and the sun <laughs> yeah 
Why are you even talking about that for? Uh, oh, because it, it shows sun with a bit of cloud. And I said probably not. That's what I said. <clears throat> okay. My shit look okay? You look fine. Right on. Are you cocksuckers ready? I hear them all say, yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> you didn't hear that? I'm hearing it now. How can you hear it now? It already happened. Because you're talking. Donna fucks up everything. She just... Maybe tomorrow I'll do the video alone. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> I'll be in it. Yeah, you'll be... She'll force her way into the video. <laughs> There's Charlie the Labradoodle. Lazy as fuck. Well, he doesn't like the... Donna got a lot of stares today. <laughs> All the toilet paper she bought. There's four of them, so what? There's four of them, yeah. The regular $20, $22. Look at how much, Look it. How much uh, Donna... How much ass are you going to be wiping in Listen, the next while? The regular $22, right? Yeah. I got them for 15 The whole total was $163. Beer, beer, more beer over there. Listen. Fucking Donna. This is all Donna's doing. Listen. The total was $163 and something cents, okay? Yeah. I scanned my card yeah. and it went down to $124 and something cents. Huh. What a save. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit, I need my shoes. Can you throw those over there for me? I already got two hands. <laughs> Donna has like three or four. Yeah, they keep them tucked in. She keeps them tucked in. She's part insect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, here's what the weather looks like. Sky is gray. Grass is green. And... I think it should be greener. <laughs> There's the neighbor's lawn. Look at that shit. Like, look at the back corner. Way the over there? Yeah, it's really bad. Well, I know it's really bad. It's bad everywhere. Look at that shit. Don't even try. <laughs> like, look at all the other lawns. They're all fucking... Every one of them are mowed. Right? Just not that one. You know why? Because nobody lives there. <laughs> nobody at all. Anyway, let's go take a look in the front yard. Maybe the weather is different in the front than the back. No. Still gray. There's the sun somewhere up in there. Yeah. That's what the neighborhood looks like. It's quiet and boring. What are you smiling at? What else you got to say, Donna? Nothing. I'll, I'll tell you after. It's not... That guy is a fucking dick over there. Like a bigger dick than what we thought. He comes pulling in with his fucking uniform on it. And then, out of all things, he marches over like... <laughs> okay, see where that sign is for the lawn that the weed people were there? The white sign? Yeah, the, like the weed, the ones that take care of lawns. Yeah. Okay, now do you see the brick at the corner? Yeah. And now, I wouldn't have noticed this. Well, okay, it's a little bit different. So you see the next brick beside it? Okay, well, we're not going to look at bricks, Donna. <laughs> okay, well, it's a little bit up. Okay, It wasn't really up, but it's a little bit up. Okay, so he's got a fucked up brick. Okay, so he notices that, right? He actually picks up the fucking brick, and now it's... It didn't look like that before. The guy's trying to get away with, uh, fucking fraud. Fraud? What are you even talking about? <laughs> like, he's gonna say that those people did that, but the, the brick didn't... What people? The, the weed eater people. How do you know he's gonna say that? Because <laughs> he's mad. He's not back out there. Okay, but how do you, how do you know he's mad? About Cause, that. Because he looked like he was mad the way he went over, like, straight to... Like, he noticed the brick, you know... <laughs> okay, so I'm sure by now most you cocksuckers have noticed that Donna makes up her own stories. She'll watch somebody in the neighborhood and just kind of like make up what they're thinking and what they're doing. And anything Donna just said is not even true or real. Yes, it is. The guy was mad. 
I uh, watched him walk over. He angrily, like, he picked up, like, he looked at the stone, right? And then he picked it up and put it on a slant. But I don't think he's going after the weed people well, for it. Well, else would do that? Because we're... <laughs> okay, let's stop talking to Donna. Let's go back in the house. Donna, her, Donna makes my head sore. <laughs> Donna. What? See your angel right yeah, there? Yeah, I know. They your your sh- angel took a shit. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking gross. Why you show Charlie's shit on there? It's not Charlie's. It's the angel's. It's, not. it's angel's shit. Yeah, well, it looks, uh, <laughs> like, bad. Okay. Uh, fucking. Is there anything else to show, Donna? No. Fuck Charlie. Backs up when Donna leaves him outside. <laughs> okay, uh, so what's going on now? We're gonna, what are we doing? We're ending this. Are we? We're ending this? Yeah, I gotta, uh, cook supper. Okay, well, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I was gonna wash my hands, but I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you cooking for supper? Uh, steak and onion and peppers. Steak, onions and peppers. And uh I don't know, some spices <laughs> and some Okay, Donna's fucked up. She potatoes. doesn't even she doesn't even know. I'm probably gonna have to make it. No. <laughs> some potatoes and I don't know what else we're having. Okay. Corns for tomorrow. <laughs> That's all we got for today. Hopefully the video wasn't too boring. Um, <laughs> sing it older, everybody. We are oot. Fuck off. <laughs>